Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is gonna to be a really big day for this 1991 Mercedes 190E. We have to take out the drive shaft, replace the center support and bearing for preventive maintenance. Uh, I didn't have any issues with vibration, but I just wanna do it. And also check the flex discs and probably replace the flex discs at the same time. Possibly transmission mount, I don't know. I don't have the transmission mount right now, but I do have flex discs and center support and bearing. And also gotta do the trans fluid service. So I don't know if it's gonna be in this video or in the next one, but we're gonna focus on the drive shaft today. All right, the car is jacked up on jack stands. I have a bunch of room right now to work here. It's really awesome. I'm gonna start removing this drive shaft. Yep, got parts right there. So these are, this is the center support and the bearing center support is the Corteco brand and I had to press in this uh, SKF SKF made in Italy uh, bearing Yep, so it's gonna go on got this dust boot I got uh, this guy flex disc this is the front flex disc but we'll see if we need it or not I think it was replaced but I'm gonna check and I have the rear flex disc as well both the front and rear flex discs are different on these cars all right so here's the rear flex disc all right and it's actually in a pretty bad shape there's a bunch of cracking so i started taking the bolts out i'm gonna take this bracket safety bracket off lower the exhaust and then get to that heat shield take that heat shield out and get to the center support and take that out so yeah there's still a bunch of work left to do all right so after you're done removing all the bolts for the flex disc the transmission is actually neutral so i can turn it you can see i have to remove this bracket it's 24 millimeter not right there holding it so i'm gonna be taking that guy off next So I was finally able to loosen these. Take these out. Just takes a bit of patience. Not all the cars have these brackets, but this 190 does. Just gonna take it off. Although otherwise you can't take the trash shaft out. Alright guys, I finally took out the drive shaft, the whole thing. Here it is. I'm gonna change the center support and bearing on it. And I decided to gonna change both flex discs. Yeah, I'm already here, so I might as well change all that. All right, guys, we're gonna continue on working on this drive shaft now. So I'm gonna separate it before I separate these two halves. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark both of them. All right, and then this center support's still fine, but the bearing is noisy, so we still have to change that. Let's listen to this. made a mark right there so we can separate these two right now without any issues so very interesting this one is actually original mercedes part center support but there's like cracking happening right there already so good idea we're changing it for sure all right so got the flex disc the rear unfortunately front flex disc that one does not fit it's actually for a 124 they're a little different that one's bigger but mine i'll show you later is actually in, uh, it was replaced in the front and they used i think a phoebe brand as well and it's actually not a bad condition so i'm gonna still use that but i'm gonna replace the center support and bearing this is the old one and uh this flex disc it's gonna go to the back made in germany so when you're installing it, make sure that you're using the punch and hit the inner race with a punch. So, yeah. Looking good there. Now, there's this guy that goes in there as well. It's gonna go like that. So I'm gonna have to use a, probably a punch again. 
All right, so center support and bearing all installed. All the cones are back. I just gotta install this boot and uh, reconnect the drive shaft back together. So I'm gonna reuse this boot because this one is just not lengthy enough, unfortunately, but this one's still in good condition. And I put a bunch of grease here and I'm gonna go ahead and slide it on. All right guys, so and this is the flex disc in the front, all reinstalled. So as you can see, I'm gonna turn the drive shaft. It's, uh, it's actually made in Germany, so somebody replaced it recently. So I don't have a replacement right now because I looked at it before and it seemed fine. It's not too bad actually. So we're gonna leave it at that. Yeah, the transmission mount could use replacement, but it's not too bad. But the main thing is actually put some grease here and there on it too. So here's the center support. Okay, so we're gonna... The center support is all nice and replaced. Okay. Looking great. And the spin drive shaft, there's nothing wrong, no noises. So everything is amazing. So I'm about to put this aluminum cover that goes here, the heat shield. And here's the uh, rear flex disc. Okay. Yeah, so this is the this is the Phoebe brand. Really nice, awesome. So hopefully this lasts 100 years. Yep, this is brand new. And yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm gonna start putting everything back here together. All right, so this was the bad flex disc as you can see i'm pretty sure it's original from the factory could be that's crazy and honestly saying like this would still be fine for a while but hey i wanted to do all that preventive maintenance because that's the key so we've got brand new rear flex disc center support brand new and bearing and front flex disc was replaced at some point too so it's newish flex disc This is the old, uh, I destroyed it while taking it out, but this bearing was getting noisy and surprisingly this uh, center support is actually genuine Mercedes brand. Alright guys, so everything is back together. Transmission cross member. Alright, exhaust. Alright, that heat shield is back. Everything is back reinstalled guys feels amazing now that everything has been taken care of all right guys that's pretty much it make sure you double check your work replace your worn flex discs and center support and everything else and i'll see you in the next one take care all right guys so the door panel or the film protective film is all back okay and then i looped up the door stop once again while i'm here and a little bit of door lock too and ready to install this panel before you put the door panel on make sure everything is working sweet all right guys here's the beautiful door panel and then all the hooks are there and everything nothing is broken Go ahead and install this bad boy. So quick tip, spray some silicone paste or grease on all these grooves. Here's the door panel. All back together and also conditioned with leather conditioner. Alright guys, so another piece of restoration is these good used vents for the center vent assembly. So these ones are actually really nice and not broken, not cracked or anything. So I'm going to grab it and simply just push on carefully to install. That's already on, huh? That's crazy. Let's see, now it has to be pushed on more. That's one. Okay. 
carefully. Like that. Look at that, this one still has the ability to stay like this. It's getting a little loose. If yours is a little loose, just add a little bit of like maybe electrical tape right here to create more friction.